Welcome to the Swisstronic step-by-step -step guide on how to mint an PERC-20 token using Hardhat and the Open Zeppelin Contracts Wizard. In this video, we'll cover the entire process. First, we will set up the project in Hardhat and create a new project directory. Then we will configure the Swisstronic network and set the private key. After this, create a PERC-20 smart contract and compile the smart contract. Next, deploy, mint, and transfer. PERC-20 token on the Swisstronic network, and finally we'll verify the transaction on the Swisstronic blockchain explorer. Let's take a quick look at the privacy features of PERC-20 tokens. Unlike standard tokens, PERC-20 offers an extra layer of privacy. Key functions like balance checks and allowances are disabled, meaning external parties can't easily track token balances or allowances. The access control logic is highly customizable. Token issuers can set unique criteria for who gets access to token details, ensuring only authorized users can view private information. In sensitive or private networks, transfer and approval events are also disabled to protect transaction data. This keeps confidential details secure. For private blockchains or enterprise solutions, PERC-20 tokens provide an ideal level of privacy and controlled access. So. Let's get started. Part one, setting up the project. Before moving on to this, if you haven't yet installed Visual Studio Code for Code Editor, Node.js and NPM, please watch our previous guide on how to deploy a simple smart contract on Swisstronic blockchain using Hardhat. First, let's set up our project. Open your terminal and create a new project directory. Write the command memkdir deploy perc20 token and navigate to this project directory. CD deploy PERC20 token. Now install hardhat. Use this command npm install double dash save dash dev hardhat. It will take a few seconds to install. After installing hardhat, initialize a new hardhat project, npx hardhat init. When you run npx hardhat init, it sets up a basic project structure with all the necessary configuration files. Follow the prompts to create a JavaScript project. Hit enter yes. Yes, let's open the project in the code editor. Use command code dot and hit enter. As you can see, there are a few folders and files here. Let's delete lock.soul in contracts folder and also ignition file. Before we proceed, we need to set a variable with your private key. You will need this key to sign transactions on the blockchain. To get your private key, open your MetaMask wallet, click on the three dots in the top right corner, select account details, then click show private key and copy it. To set the variable, use the following command, npx hardhat vars set private key. After running the command, enter your private key. Paste the key you copied earlier and hit enter. Next, you need to configure the Swisstronic network in our hardhat configuration file. Open the hardhat.config.js file in your project and add the following code. You can find this code in the sample repository in the script gist file below. Just copy and paste into the configuration file. You can use an ENV file to store your private keys, but here we are using a more secure method to ensure you don't accidentally push your private keys to GitHub. In this configuration, we import the necessary hard hat tools and set the Swisstronic network URL. The accounts field uses the private key you stored earlier to sign transactions. This setup allows us to deploy contracts to the Swisstronic testnet. Now you are ready for the next step. Let's create the PERC20 smart contract. Part two, creating the PERC20 smart contract. For this, we'll use existing contracts, which we will copy from the repository. Let's open this repository in GitHub. 
You can find the link of the repository down below. We have to copy all the contract files into our project contract file. Copy the code and paste it into a new file in your hardhat projects contracts folder. First run this command or create files manually and copy all file one by one. Copy first IPERC20.sol, then IPERC20, metadata.sol. After this, PERC20.sol. Finally, the main contract file, PERC20, sample.sol, which we will deploy. Let's understand this. First, we have IPERC20.sol, which is the interface for the PERC20 contract. It's based on the ERC20 standard and defines the essential functions like total supply, balance of, and transfer that any PERC20 contract needs to implement. However, unlike a standard ERC20, some events like transfer and approval are disabled to ensure that no private data is leaked. Next is IPERC20 metadata.sol, which extends the base interface by adding functionality for token metadata, such as the token's name, symbol, and decimals. Important information for any token. Then we have the main implementation contract, IPERC20.sol. This contract inherits the IPERC20 interface and provides the full implementation of the token's core functionality, such as transfers, approvals, and allowances. What's unique here is the privacy-focused logic embedded within, as well as the additional functions for minting and burning tokens. It also includes the metadata functions to return details like the token name and symbol. Finally, we have IPERC20 sample.sol, which is a sample deployment of the PERC-20 contract. It inherits from PERC-20 and defines specific values for the token name, sample PERC-20, and symbol PSWTR. This contract also enhances privacy by overriding the balance of on and allowance functions, adding conditions that make sure only the correct account or spender can view the details. Additionally, it includes a receive function to handle Ether and wrap it into the PERC20 token, creating a privacy-enhanced token called PSWTR. Now install the Open Zeppelin library, hard hat tools, and Swisstronic Web3 plugins in our project. To install this, run command. NPM install, Ernomic Foundation, Jar, Hard Hat, Web3 v4. Web3 Utils, an open Zeppelin Jocha contracts, Arda Swisstronic Web3 plugin, Swisstronic Web3, save dev. You can copy from the GitHub repository. Make sure you are in the root of the project directory. After the successful installation, we can proceed to the next step. Part 3. Deploying the PERC20 smart contract. Let's deploy the smart contract using hardhat. In your project directory, create a new file in the scripts folder and name it deploy.js. Here's the deployment script. This script imports the Web3 library from hardhat, the ABI, application binary interface, and bytecode are imported from the compiled smart contract PERC20 sample.sol. These are necessary to deploy and interact with the contract. The main function is declared as an async function, allowing the use of await for asynchronous blockchain operations. Deployer is the Ethereum account that will deploy the contract. It is retrieved using web3.eth.get accounts, which fetches the list of accounts from the node or wallet. A new contract instance, PERC20, is created using the web3.eth. Contract as constructor with the contract's ABI. The deploy method prepares the deployment by attaching the contract's bytecode. Arguments is an empty array because no constructor parameters are needed for this specific contract. Send from deployer, come on, sends the transaction to deploy the contract from the deployer account. After deployment, the contract address, where it resides on the blockchain, is retrieved from PERC20 options address and printed to the console. This handles any errors during contract deployment. 
If an error occurs, it's logged and the script exits with a failure code. To deploy your contract, run the following command in your terminal. npx hardhat run scripts slash deploy dot js network swisstronic. If the deployment is successful, you'll see your contract's address in the terminal output. Just like on my screen, please copy this contract address open notepad and paste. We will need this contract address later. Part 4. Minting 100 PERC20 Token With our contract deployed, it's time to mint our first 100 PERC20 token. Create a new script in the scripts folder and name it mint.js. Let's write the script for minting one token. You can find this repository in the description. Copy this mint.js script from here and paste it into your mint.js file. The code begins by importing necessary modules from Hardhat, a development environment for Ethereum, along with the Swisstronic JS plugin, which facilitates interaction with the Swisstronic blockchain. It also imports the application binary interface, ABI, of the PERC20 sample contract from the artifacts directory, essential for creating a contract instance. The main function serves as the entry point for the script, containing the logic for minting tokens. Within this function, the Swisstronic plugin is registered using the network configuration URL, enabling the Web3 instance to communicate with the Swisstronic blockchain. The contract address variable is defined to hold the address of the deployed PERC-20 contract, and the code retrieves the first available Ethereum account using web3.eth.get accounts, which will be utilized to send the minting transaction. A new contract instance is then created using the ABI and the contract address, allowing the script to call functions defined within the PERC-20 contract. The mint function is invoked to mint tokens. We have mentioned 100 tokens in our PERC-20 sample contract and sending the transaction from the specified account. After sending the transaction, the receipt is logged to the console, detailing the transaction's success or failure. Lastly, the main function is executed with a dot catch method attached to handle any potential errors that may arise during the execution, logging the error and setting the exit code to one if a failure occurs. We have to paste the contract address here, which we got after the deployment of the IPERC 20 sample.sol contract. Let's copy it from Notepad and paste it here. To mint your 100 PERC20 tokens, run the following command in your terminal. npx hardhat run scripts jocks mint js network swisstronic. After running this command, you'll have successfully minted 100 PERC20 tokens on the swisstronic network. Part 5. Transferring 1 PERC20 Token Next, let's transfer 1 PERC20 token to a specific wallet address, which is specified on the task card on the Swisstronic Testnet 2 dashboard. Create a new script in the scripts folder and name it transfer.js. Here's the transfer script. This script attaches to the deployed contract and transfers one token to the specified wallet address. After the transfer transaction is confirmed, a success message is logged. To transfer the token, Run the following command in your terminal. npx hardhat run scripts slash transfer dot js network swisstronic. Now we have successfully transferred one token. Part 6. Publishing the code to GitHub. Now that your project is complete, it's time to publish the code to a GitHub repository. 
Start with navigating to GitHub and creating a new repository. Once your repository is created, push your project files to GitHub. Use the following commands in your terminal to initialize Git, add your files, commit them, and push to the remote repository. Finally, we need to fill in the required details in the task card on the Swisstronic Testnet 2 dashboard. So copy the address of your deployed PERC 20 sample.sol contract from your terminal. Paste the copied contract address into the designated field for the deployed PERC 20 sample.sol contract address. Next, head over to your GitHub repository and copy the URL from the address bar. Paste this link into the GitHub repository field. Finally, we have to locate the transaction link of the token transfer. Just Google for the Swisstronic Testnet Explorer, or you can directly access this link, https colon slash slash explorer dash evm dot testnet dot swisstronic dot com slash. You can find this transaction link on a Swisstronic EVM Explorer by searching for your wallet address or the smart contract address. As you can see, we cannot check how many tokens were minted and transferred to specific addresses because this data is private and only the owner of the tokens can view it. How can we check how many tokens we have in our account? To check the token balance, we need to add the token contract to our wallet. Copy the PERC-20 contract address from the terminal, open MetaMask Wallet N, click on Import Token, and paste the contract address here. It will display the balance. As you can see, we have the balance for this token. We minted 100 tokens and have already transferred one token, which is why we have 99 tokens remaining. Copy the transaction link and paste it into the field labeled token transaction link. Before you submit, double check all the information to ensure accuracy. Once you're confident that everything is correct, go ahead and click the submit button to complete your task submission. Congratulations. You've successfully minted and transferred PERC-20 tokens, deployed a smart contract using Hardhat, and submitted all the necessary details to complete the task. Thank you for watching this tutorial. See you in the next video.